hello hello everyone welcome back to the channel miss crochet and coffee here and today we have a product review for art and fly the folks over at art and fly were very generous enough to send me out a couple of their products to test out um they sent me out some of their dual tipped uh brush tip sketch markers which are the brush tip ones i've already had the nib tip but i never did a formal review i will be doing a formal review of those later but I did want to show what the difference is between the two. I also was sent out a 15 pack of their dual color tip brush pens, which are water based. And then I was sent out some of these fine liners. Now these fine liners are for those of us that like to draw. Now, if you haven't seen on my Instagram, I just recently started posting. I'm starting to learn how to draw. I've always wanted to do it and I made every excuse as to why I couldn't do it. And these fine liners were a perfect excuse to go, what excuse can I give myself to actually teach myself to draw? So I've been using those, which I'll have a future video for this, this, and this coming up. So stay tuned if you want to see those. But with that said, we are going to focus on the brush tips today because that is why we are here. Now, the difference between the brush tip and the the uh, nib tip are the, is one color. In this set, there is a B r109 and in this set there is a y25 all the other colors are the exact same i do wish this one had more yellow because i really like that yellow and i have already swatched these so you guys don't have to sit through a boring swatching session of me swatching markers so i swatched these and again here are the nib tips because I've had the nib tips for a while and then I have it here where it says brush tips and then the brush tips are all here. So BR109 is the only difference. So as you can see, it's a pastel yellow, which let's get you down in the business. It's a pastel yellow over this like honey yellow. Now, or sorry, that's 231, which is in this kit. But Y or yeah, Y45 is like a dark honey mustard color. I do like having that color. So I would, if I had any recommendations, it's one, to get rid of the colorless blender. I don't know anybody who actually uses that thing. Add an extra color if you have to, but nobody uses the colorless blender. So let's, let's add another color into that to make it a full 24 because technically it's only 23 colors and then you get a colorless blender. I, I never use a colorless blender. Yes, I am new into coloring and also now drawing, but I never use it, so I don't I don't like it. Either way. So we're gonna put these away because we'll do a product review on those later. Today we're gonna fo focus on these brush tip markers, which you know what? No, we can we can do these together. We can we can do these together. So we're gonna open this up. Don't mind the random drawings in this book. Maggie got a hold of it. So yeah. So art and fly. These markers are a little bit on the expensive side. When I say expensive, the brush tip markers are going to run you, I believe, about $45 for this 24-pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought the same thing. Holy crap, that's a lot. But the cool thing about these is they're refillable, y'all. They have refills. I believe the refills are about $8, which works out to something like a dollar something a pen. Uh, with the refills, you can, I believe you can get 13 refills for eight bucks. Uh, that's a lot, folks. So these, these markers aren't just any old markers. These are an investment. So when you see markers like this that are a little on the expensive side, they're an investment because they're something that can be used over and over again and not like a one-time use. You have to throw it out and find something else or buy a whole new set just to get one marker. So like, say like my Cali Arts, if I run out of a color in my Cali Arts, I can't go get a refill. Not that I've noticed. I haven't seen anything about refills for Cali Art markers. So if I, if I, if I run out of a color, I have to buy the whole set for that one color. Whereas with these or like my Artezas, I can get a refill. So they do have the refills available on their site. Um, and we all know our affiliate with our uh, Art and Fly, which is Laura Law's Craft Corner. She has an affiliate link in her description box of her videos. If you would like to use her aff affiliate link, I'm sure she would greatly appreciate it. So let's see what these markers can do, shall we? Now, when you open it up, they are the same marker-wise. So, of course, I'd pick... Oh, nope, that one has it too. So these are the two markers. 
So our nib tip have a silver coating on it that say Art and Fly, and our brush tip have a dark bold color on it that says Art and Fly. And as you can see, they're the same color. They're both 14R. I do wish they had the color name on the markers because that would be helpful. It does have the color family on there, so R. So it's telling us it's like a red color. If I had to guess, I would say this is probably like maybe a vermilion color, just from my experience. Um, but there is a way to tell the difference between the two markers, so I do like that. So again, the nib tip has the silver writing, and then the brush tip has the black writing. Uh, it also will tell you on there, there's a brush, and there's classic, which classic is the bullet nib. This is how they look. So let's see. So with the nib tip, There's a very low odor to the markers, but it's not anything really bad. And they are alcohol based, so there's gonna be some odor to them. And then you have the brush tip, which gives you a thicker line. Now, one thing I don't like about these markers is that they don't stack. Now, you can try to stack them, but you're going to essentially, you're, you're going to stretch out that marker cap. If you put it on and, and line up the hexagon on the, because the, they are a hexagon shape so, they, they, so that they don't roll. So when you lay them down, they're, they, they, they're not going to roll away on you. Um, I do wish the caps were stackable like you can push it down on there really hard to get it to stack but you're stretching out that marker cap i'm not sure if that's something i like or not um but they they don't stack on there like you can just click them on there and go you have to actually force them down a little bit which if they could i don't know how they could fix that but i, I mean i do like the shape of the marker but i'm worried that if i continue to stretch that out anymore if it will still snugly close on the marker itself so Again, we're gonna focus on the brush tip markers. So we're gonna do this 239R with the 14R. Can we blend them together? How do they blend? So we're gonna, and this is just mixed media paper. I'm gonna use the brush tip. Oh my God, you guys. And for blending, you want to essentially get rid of the dark, harsh line that shows you where it was blended, which as you can see down in the business, there's no harsh line. So this up top here is the, 20, the 239R and then this is the 14R here. So as you can see, they blend really, really good. Like you cannot tell where those lines were. So that's a plus. We can even try it on this one here. I've been playing around with these markers for the last couple of days and I really, really like them. So we're gonna put that 239 on there. And watch the blending power here. We're just gonna go over it with this. Boom, blended, awesome. So let's try that again. We're going to try with blue. And this is 74 PB. And then we're going to do 82 P. We're just going to try to blend them. So as you can see here with the first stroke, there is a noticeable line. So we're going to try to get rid of that line. And that's what it means to blend, is to get rid of that harsh line so that you can't see where the blending starts and begins. So as you can see, the line is now gone. So they do blend very well, so they get a plus for that. I do wish they had different packaging. Getting these markers into this box is a pain in the tuchus. So if I had another suggestion, different packaging. 
it is nice packaging for putting away because as you know, if you're having alcohol markers stored, you want to store them on their side. So it's nice for packaging the, the packaging for it to be a square box like this. The only problem is if you have a package like the if the packaging is like this and you put it away like this and you go to grab it, you run the risk of pulling that that top off. So if I had to say anything different packaging, I don't I'm not a big fan of the box. It's nice to to get it in. Or if you're going to offer the box, at least offer some kind of other solution for storing the markers, like a case of some sort. So, how do they color? Now, you guys knew we were going to color today. It's a coloring day. So, I found one of my easy sheets to color. It's, again, another Hannah Lynn. So, there is that. We're going to color this. And we're only going to use the brush tip markers. We're going to put away the nib tips and we're going to time lapse color this beauty here. So I got my brush tip markers. Are you guys ready? Let's go.
So there you have it. So these markers perform very well. I do like the way that they blend. I like the even coverage of the colors. Uh, I do have to say, I wish they came with extra tips because as you can see, after using it, they do get a little dirty. And then on this side, I'm not sure what exactly happened there, but it tended to, uh, it, it's starting to like fold up on itself. So I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen or not. And it's not like I was like really digging at the paper. I was working in those colors to get them to blend so that I had a nice even blend and it looked like highlights and not like orange, yellow. So uh, just so the colors weren't so aggressively coming off the page. Uh, but I do have to say, I would definitely recommend you give them a try. Again, they are an investment. They do have a bigger pack of these that I probably will get in the future to show you guys to see what the difference is between the 24 and the 48. The 48 color is $84 and the brush chips here are 45. But again, they are refillable. Um, from what I understand, you can get about 13 refills out of the refills. So that is awesome. Again, if you would like to use Laura's affiliate code, she is Laura Laws Craft Corner here on YouTube. You can use her affiliate code. I don't think there's a discount with it, but it does help her out fund her channel. So I'm always for trying to help out my fellow creators. So you guys can go check out her link under her videos there. But with that said, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about these markers or any markers I've shown in previous videos, please feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. If you are new to the channel and like to see more randomness just like this, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. With that said, folks, I would like to now bid you adieu, but not before reminding you, like I always try to, to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.